Disney, like many companies, will sometimes test the waters when it comes to ideas they have in the form of customer surveys. Did you know that in 1996, they surveyed guests about a potential annual pass that would have been the Disney Pass to end all Disney passes? You see, 1996 was the year Disney was celebrating Walt Disney World's 25th anniversary. The parks got a new parade, some new merchandise, and a castle makeover that looked, uh, unique. One other potential perk that Disney was testing the waters for, according to the Orlando Sentinel, was a special 25th anniversary annual pass. It would have cost $2,500, and get this, it would have granted the pass holder access to all current and future Disney theme parks in Florida for the following 25 years. That's not all though. The proposed pass would have also included a limited edition lithograph, a signed letter from Disney CEO Michael Eisner and Walt's nephew, Roy E. Disney, and a customized etched brick with the guest's name on it near Cinderella's castle. Talk about an ultimate anniversary package, a quarter of a century of park access, and a way to immortalize yourself into the park itself. Now, at the time, an adult platinum annual pass cost guests $329. Even if you assumed the price would never change, which it would, 25 years of annual passes would cost $8,225. So needless to say, in the long run, this would have been a potential financial loss for Disney. I say potential because we could never really know if the guests who bought this anniversary pass would otherwise have bought 25 years worth of normal annual passes. In fact, they probably wouldn't. But when you combine that with the fact that space would have obviously been limited when it came to these custom bricks, assuming they'd be around the same size as the Walk Around the World bricks, it seems likely that this ultimate anniversary pass would have been an exclusive and limited product. Now, given Disney's penchant for sticking to the anniversary number, I suspect it would have been limited to either 250 or 2,500 guests. Now's about the time I would ask you all if you'd be willing to buy a pass like this, but it wouldn't really be a fair question. After all, while $2,500 is still nothing to scoff at, today it's only about three times the price of a Platinum Pass, which is about $850. Back then, the $2,500 price point against a normal $329 pass meant that the Anniversary Pass was seven and a half times more expensive than the normal price. So applying that to today's prices, would you pay $6,400 for such an annual pass? I'm sure plenty would especially when you remember that we're talking about 25 years worth of Disney access. So then what happened to the idea? Well, there aren't really any specifics, but it ultimately never manifested beyond that survey. Perhaps the value of the promotion just wasn't worth the potential long-term costs of the program. Maybe they felt they didn't need a promotion that drastic when they were already pulling a stunt as large as transforming the castle into a cake. Or maybe it was never intended to be a real product to begin with, and it was just a question that they used to learn more about how much or little guests valued access to the parks. In any case, the ultimate Disney Pass to end all Disney Passes, the 25th Anniversary Annual Pass, would join the ranks as yet another what-if project that never came to be. I want to thank Ye Old Prop Shop for sponsoring this week's video. As much as we would all love to steal our favorite Disney signs and bring them home with us, we shouldn't. Disney doesn't like that. So instead, check out some of the sign replicas over at Ye Old Prop Shop. They have everything from Haunted Mansion signs to Tower of Terror signs. They even have coasters if you're looking for something smaller. I personally picked up their Club 33 sign a little while back for my office, and the best part is I didn't even have to get on a decade-long waiting list like the real Club 33. If you want to check out everything they've got and learn more, there's a link in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.